All right, following on the heels of our previous lesson on number seven on the test review, we're going to look at supplement and complement of the angle. These are back to back test review questions. Let's go ahead and take a look at the first one. Right here, we have the supplement of an angle. It's 30 more than twice the measure of the angle. That is a lot of words. When we have something like this, we need to slow down and think. First of all, I had you memorize a couple of definitions. When you see the phrase, the supplement of an angle, right here, I want you to go ahead and write above these words right here, 180 minus x. Now, what is is in algebra? You know I've been drilling that. Is is equal to 30 more, so we're going to be adding something, then twice, we're going to be multiplying, the measure of the angle. The angle is x. So we have 180 minus x is equal to 30 plus 2 times x. So let's go ahead and write this out in a nice easy to see algebra equation. 180 minus x is and I'm going to go ahead and do 2x because I'm just old-fashioned. I'm a very left to right western cultural type guy. 2x plus 30 and that's an equal sign promise and we're back to work we're going to start solving our equation well let's get the x's to one side so I'm going to get rid of that negative x and add it over here so I'm going to have 180 is equal to 3x plus 30 subtract 30 on both sides and I get 150 is equal to 3x. Divide by 3 on both sides and we're going to get x is equal to 50. Now let's go back and say what in the world does x represent? x represents this guy right here. The angle. Well if that's the angle, what's the supplement? Well there it is right there. 180 minus the angle. So our supplement is going to be 130 degrees. All right. Let's go on to the next one. Test review question number eight. An angle is, let's stop and think. I'm not even going to read the rest of the question. An angle is, well, you automatically should think that is means equal. An angle, well, I don't know what the angle is. In algebra, we call that x. 150 degrees less. Oh, we're going to be subtracting here. Yep. Then twice the complement. This wording is slightly different than what you're used to. And it's do, we're doing it on purpose. The complement infers that it's the complement of this angle right here, which again is 90 minus x. So we're going to have 150 degrees less than this, but we have to multiply it by 2. Twice the complement is the whole thing, minus 150. So let's get to work on our algebra. We're going to rewrite this into something that looks a little bit more sense. I'm going to put this right here first. 2 times 90 minus x. And we're going to subtract the 150 at the end. Working our algebra, let's go ahead and distribute the 2. That's 180 minus 2x plus 150. I could do it a couple of different ways, but I'm going to go ahead and get my x's to one side. I'm going to add 2x to both sides. That gives me 3x is equal to 180, 180 minus, did I put a plus sign there? I am an idiot at times. Where's my eraser? I need the medium eraser. Really, the Rangers are on TV and it's driving me nuts to be here. All right, we're going to subtract 180 minus 150. That gives me 30. That means x is equal to 10. What did I do in the last problem? Well, x, I need a 10 there. I'm completely blowing this lesson. All right, x is 10. That 10 represents the angle. See the angle? So what's its complement? Well, 80. You just take 90 minus x gives you 80. So the complement is 80 degrees. So our two angles are like this. Box your answers, put a smiley face, and move on to the next problem. And what are the Rangers up to now? 
four to nothing. Alrighty, see you next time.